All right, Coach, go ahead with an opening statement. Um, happy holidays. It's good to be back home. I thought, um, you know, obviously we didn't play well against UCLA. The uh, competition was was really good. Uh, I thought leading into that game, we had been playing at a very steady clip. You know, we had a couple of true, we had three true road games last week. Was able to get two, two, uh, two wins there um, and come back home here with a break under some difficult circumstances. I thought our guys performed well. Uh, one for 10 from three for the other team is a good stat. I think 24 of 28 from the free throw line is outstanding. Um, points from turnovers, shoot fast break. I mean, we really, we really stuffed the stat sheet tonight and it, it was a group effort. And coach, talking about the struggles from shooting for you guys, four of 23 from three for you guys tonight. What did you think about the quality of looks from the two points? We, we, we had some quality ones. Some, some were a little quick, but you know, when you have guys that can shoot, you just let them shoot. And it's part of um, staying out of their way. Um, you just remind them about time and score. And we really didn't have, we, we had some threes to kind of create distance. I like, those are fine, right? But when you're nursing a 10 point lead, Time and score comes in. I don't think we took any of those, but we just got to get back. I, you know, I, I know mentally and physically we're a little worn down, so we just need to take a quick breath until we play again on Tuesday, uh, take a quick re uh, relief tomorrow, get back in the gym on Monday, and hopefully we'll get a few of these guys in uh, shooting anyway on Sunday uh, and then get prepared for our next team. Again, Jim, you sat in the first half for the last 15 minutes with foul trouble. What was your mindset going into the second half? Um, just stay disciplined, stay the coach task, and be ready for the second half. Stay aggressive. Yeah. You were 10 for 10 from the free throw line and 5 for 9 from the field, Jameer. What did it take to have that kind of accuracy today? Uh, you know, coach always has us stay after, makes lots of free throws. We got to get up at least 80, 80 a day. So just staying with the preparation and just stay, staying with it. And Dom, as a team, you guys struggled shooting as a whole in the first half. What changed in the second half to let you guys go out for 47 second half points? Uh, just patience. Uh, we trust each other. So, you know, of course, not for 40 minutes, you know, the ball's not going to go in. So just staying with it. And, you know, if the shot's not going down, that just means we just got to play defense on the other end. And I think that's what we did. And that's how we was able to extend the lead. Yeah, big, big sequence there. I think Dom gets two steals in a row, um, two and two three-point plays the hard way. That's a big sequence. Yeah, and then going with that, you guys won the turn or won the turnover battle, forcing 14 turnovers and just 13 after 31 yeah. on Tuesday night. What did you see from the team on both ends turnover-wise? You had to remind me of the 31, right? <laughs> no, it, it, again, we have to, you know, we're still trying to come together to, to, to play teams like that, right? UCLA, heavy pressure, right, on the road. So we still have some work to do, and our team can get better. And that's one key area where I know we can handle the ball better. Uh, we just have to, again, just try to move the ball without dribbling. That will help. And Dom, going back to those back-to-back -back steals and the three-point plays, what was going through your mind? Kind of take us through those on the defensive end of those steals. Uh, just to, you know, be a playmaker and, you know, on the defensive side and, uh, just do something that will give our team a boost. Uh, at that time, it seemed like our energy was kind of low. So I just felt like, OK, just let's, let's try to make a play right here on defensive end within our principles. And I think I was able to do that. And by me doing that, it gave us a positive result. Coach, the team only shot two free throws in the first half <laughs> and 26 in the second half. What did it take as an adjustment to get to the line? Well, a few reminders, uh, a few, <laughs> hey, listen, you know, we, we, we make more free throws than our opponents attempt because we're trying not to foul, but then we're trying to stay aggressive. I, I thought that first half was just, we just didn't get the benefit of the doubt. Second, second half, we got the benefit of the doubt. We stayed aggressive and it helped. And coach, 34 to 30 in the rebounding. Um, Cal State Bakersfield with the advantage there. What did you see from your team, though, rebounding and keeping it close with a good rebounding team like the Roadrunners? Well, it's one area where we know we're better than that, but statistically we have shown that we're vulnerable. So what, it, what you have to do is you just have to prove people wrong. You just have to you know, grit your teeth and get it done. Uh, teams are going to try to get extra shots on us. We can't give those up. We just have, we can't. And tonight was a good battle. 
we we gave them too many offensive rebounds, but it's just something we have to prove every night that we can do. So it, it's it's an area where it's not going to go away. We just have to get tougher. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks.